Well, at the post, and they are racing. Patsy J was quick into stride, sweet and wicked, displaying speed, and up the inside, red hot Katie. So into the first turn on the extreme outside. Now Tia Floor moves up and after Patsy J, who is the leader. Red Hot Katie is reserved while racing third. Sweet and Wicked flanks her from fourth. Two links in front of Crazy Sexy Money, who is fifth and about seven off the pace. Up on the extreme outside, War Eagles Love is next. Advancing to the inside, Monkey Mind on the class drop is a length in front of Vortices. Then comes our closure, still two or three links back to Poor Girl and Tempestuous Amy for Paul Webster out at the back of the pack. About 15, 16 links top to bottom. Up top, Patsy J leads them just outside the half-mile marker. Her lead is three and a half lengths. Tia Floor still tracking from second. Red Hot Katie out in the clear, moving well while in third. War Eagles Love on her back from fourth. Our closure being shoved along for some more speed in fifth. In between horses there, Vortices is next. He'll link back to Sweet and Wicked. Up the inside is Poor Girl. Now, Tempestuous Amy cut loose to the outside, and here she's come. She's raced up into fifth, moving well on that far turn run. Half mile, 47 and one. The leader still Patsy J. Here's Red Hot Katie in second as Tempestuous Amy continues to charge to the outside as they turn on down for the money. Patsy J still there, but here comes the closers. Red Hot Katie, a three-wide bid. War Eagles love. All of a sudden, Tempestuous Amy has stalled to the outside as Red Hot Katie has put away the pace setting Patsy J. It's Red Hot Katie opening up by a lake now by two, now by three. Red Hot Katie for Steve Cannon gets it done by just about two and a half lengths. The running time was 139 and one.